high efficiency calcium loop technology and its applications. Did you know the earth is running a fever? This is because people are so dependent on oil, coal, and natural gas for energy, which leads to excessive emissions of carbon dioxide. Buildups of carbon dioxide absorb the heat radiated off the surface of the earth, causing temperatures to rise gradually, a phenomenon called global warming. So now carbon reduction is the best way to keep the earth from heating up, while also maintaining environmental sustainability, another important goal that cannot be ignored. Carbon capture, storage and reuse technology is currently recognized by the International Energy Agency as the most important carbon reduction technology now available. Carbon capture technology is the direct capture of carbon dioxide emissions from the source, blocking opportunities for carbon dioxide emissions to disperse into the atmosphere. The captured carbon dioxide can then be stored underground as enhanced oil and gas recovery or sold as a raw material. It can also be reused to farm microalgae, which are turned into biofuel and other high economic value products. As a result, Taiwan's eTree and Taiwan Cement Company collaborated in 2013 to create the world's largest pilot plant for carbon dioxide capture using a calcium loop, making a tremendous contribution to the effort to cool down our planet. E-Tree developed its high-efficiency calcium loop technology based on the absorbent reaction of calcium oxide. When calcium oxide contacts carbon dioxide, the reaction is the formation of calcium carbonate. The calcium carbonate is then regenerated to produce calcium oxide and carbon dioxide again in an ongoing cycle of reactions. If the calcium oxide loses its activity during the capture process, it can be returned to the cement plant as a raw material, resulting in almost zero waste. The heat generated in the process can also be recovered to reduce energy consumption. The Heklot system consists mainly of a carbonator, a calciner, dust collector, and a storage tank. When factory exhaust fumes containing carbon dioxide are introduced to the carbonator, they will react with calcium oxide to form calcium carbonate in the temperature between 600 and 650 degrees Celsius. Then calcium carbonate is introduced along into the calciner, where it is released as high concentrations of carbon dioxide by oxyfuel combustion at 850 degrees Celsius to form the calcium oxide. At this time, the flue gas of highly concentrated carbon dioxide is cleaned, cooled, compressed, and sequestrated. Meanwhile, the calcium oxide is returned to the carbonator to return for the next cycle of reactions. Through this continuous cycle of reactions, more than 90% of the carbon dioxide emissions from the plant can be captured, reducing carbon dioxide emissions significantly. Currently, eTree is working to develop steam hydration technology to regenerate active calcium oxide converted to calcium hydroxide. The Cascade Cyclones technology is a vertical structure to provide sorbent full mix with flue gas. Heclot could reduce energy penalty less than 20%. Capture efficiency is over 90% and one ton of carbon dioxide is at a cost less than 30 US dollars. Petri also won the 2014 R&D 100 awards. In the future, carbon capture and storage technology can be widely deployed in power generation, cement, petrochemical, iron and steel, and other industries. With the efforts of the Industry Alliance, E-Tree is planning to launch a spin-off and complete a 30 to 50 megawatt commercial demonstration plant in the near future. These programs are aimed at a more effective reduction of global greenhouse gases, helping to slow global warming and assisting the Earth by filtering out carbon for cleaner air.